Tears of the Kingdom builds are getting insane, and this design of the Batmobile is no exception. The best part is, this won't even be the final version, because someone else will find a slightly better way to do it, and then someone else will build on that. Fun fact, the original Batmobile was built on a 1956 Chevrolet Oldsmobile chassis. It looks great, it rides great, I'm very excited about where this is going. And there is nothing better to follow the Batmobile than one of the most horrifyingly creative walkers I've seen yet. It has several moving parts, there's so much that could go wrong, and yet, if you stick some cannons on it, you get a wonky but very effective, very tall machine of war. I don't make mistakes. I'm not just like the rest of you. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better! If the wheels moved correctly, this build could become a great place to fight from. It's too high for most enemies to hit you, and your lasers will make short work of them. My favorite part of this next build is the spring in the middle. While it reminds me of a shock absorber on a bike, its true purpose is to allow the machine to bend with the terrain. There's a stabilizer attached to a wheel, keeping Link upright at all times so he doesn't fall off, allowing you to climb some pretty serious hills. This is an early prototype for some kind of dragon. And while it has potential, this version just isn't going to make the cut. And now, for something that I'm sure will be used in speedruns later down the road. Unfortunately, it seems to break the game just a little bit too much. There's gotta be a better way to build a tank than this. It looks a little bit too janky, but if you ever find yourself facing a battle talus, then this tank will definitely work in a pinch. Need something to protect your base against invasions? We got you. Since it's stationary, the majority of your power can go to keeping the cannon firing longer, allowing you to get max bang for your buck. This helicopter design is quite unique. As far as I can tell, the wheels move the fan faster forwards and backwards, allowing for very fast up and down movement. Very creative, very simple, very inefficient, but also very funny. Mm -hmm. 